I think we have to we have to take a look at it a little bit longer than we have right now. I, I think what it does show is exactly what we all knew before it started. The process in We Draw Maps is it's corrupt, it's 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 despicable, and they and I think that was proven again this time. It you know it's simply drawn for political purposes, and as long as they meet the law with regard to minorities, the, the rest of it is strictly political. All Southern Illinois legislators, Republican legislators, were drawn out of their district. That's, uh, I think that tells you something. Uh, do you suspect that you and, and uh, Senator McCarter might have to run against each other, or have you talked about that? Oh, we have not. You know, th th it's so new now that uh, w this has to be looked at first and, and sort of uh, digested to find out where, where we'd be best to run. Well, um, I asked uh, Senator Redonio about this a couple of minutes ago. Do you guys as a caucus have any kind of a timetable for when you're going to propose changes, or are you just going to you know, do, uh, go to some hearings over the weekend and see you know, what your caucus thinks? Well, about you know, in the past, there ha the first map that's come out wasn't necessarily the map, uh, it, but I think it'll be close to this. You know, I just go back, and, and I think if there's a perfect example of, of, of simply, you know, Governor Edgar once told me the most despicable, corruptive process that we do in this state is draw a map. Whoever draws it, Republicans or Democrats, and it was proven again this time. But if the Republicans were in control, wouldn't they just do the same thing? You know? I just said that. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. Is, it should not be done that way, and that doesn't make it right. How should you it know, be? It doesn't make it right to say, well, the other party would have done similar things. But this was as political as it gets, I think. And uh, I guess to reiterate, how, how should it be done? How should it be changed next Well, I, I think yeah, we, we I need to yes. try to get either, uh, try to look for a non-biased commission or comp using computers, put input into computers and let, as I think Iowa does that. Uh, the, the, whatever we do would be better than what we do right now in this state. This is, you know, you can, you can basically say we had hearings, but the hearings were just as, as just show. Uh, and, and I think we see the results. Uh, Senator Cullerton uh, just mentioned that the Republicans, if they don't like the map, can introduce amendments to, to that. Do you, do you suspect doing that or your caucus doing that? And has he committed that he would listen to those amendments and make changes? I really kind of doubt that. I apologize for coming in late, but can you give us your sense of, of how this would affect you and your, your voters? Well, most of the Southern Illinois Republicans were drawn out of their district. You know, my house was, and, and, I, and this has happened before, but that doesn't make it right. You know, this, I think, proves that the way we draw a map is corrupt, political, and uh, kind of despicable, really. Uh, we, we need to, you know, whatever we do, whatever system we talk about would be better than the one we have right now. This was strictly political, and it, all, and it always has been. And to claim that it is not is just not being honest. How does it impact voters, would you say? The whole, me? How does the whole process impact voters? Well, you know, you, you all know a little bit about this, a lot about this process. You know, again, um, you'd, you'd like to, you, you hope that the voters that you, that you represent have, have a lot in common with the legislator. And, and I think that can be the case uh, because of people who live in regions who have, a, have an awful lot in common with, with, the, with the, the, the legislator who represents them. Uh, but, but as you could see, uh, I think five out of six Southern Illinois Republicans were drawn out of their map. That's stri stri strictly drawn out of their district. That just didn't happen by accident. And it's happened, you know, it's happened before. This is just another example, I think, of why the system we use is simply uh, unacceptable. And you're put in a district with somebody else? I that? was drawn out of my district by a few miles uh, and drawn drawn in, I guess, with with Kyle McCarter. Uh, and I, some of that just some of that territory I did have. You can run in any part of your district that you used to represent, uh, and you know certainly we'll all look at that. So does this force you to think about? either moving your home or retiring or running in a different district? Well, my intention is to run again. And, uh, uh, you know, I, I would have a couple of districts that I could run in because my territory is split up. It, it, it really isn't as split up as much as uh, simply drawing my house out of the district. Uh, 
So I, I, I intend to run again. Where I run, we'll have to take a look at that. Pardon my ignorance, you can, you're saying that you can run in a district that's not where your house is, is that what you're saying? You can, you, yes you can. You can run in any, any part of a district that you used to represent. Okay. Now I think you have to move one year prior to the next election. 